Hello everyone, welcome to the course we are offering uh, on the NPTEL Swayam platform. Our course title is Quantitative Methods in Chemistry. My name is Dr. Ashish Trivastav and I have with me my colleague uh, Dr. Bharatwad Satyamurthy. We both are from the Department of Chemistry, ISAR Bhopal. And uh, in this introductory video, we will brief you about how this course will be administered and what topics will be covered in this course. We will introduce ourselves uh, and what kind of work we do. We call our group uh, as Laboratory of Molecular and Macromolecular Materials because we work on a wide variety of uh, soft nanomaterials. For example, these can be stimuli responsive soft materials where the stimuli can be temperature, pressure and uh, pH. We work on uh, nanomaterial fabrication, novel drug delivery systems as well as uh, hydrogels for drug delivery uh, purposes. That's the kind of work we do. Hi, uh, so uh, we work in the field of solution state NMR spectroscopy and in my lab we predominantly look at biomolecules and how they structure and dynamics changes based on different perturbations. In particular, we uh, look at uh, systems such as uh, nucleic acids, DNA and RNA and based on any changes that happen in the environment, how would the structure change for such systems is what we focus on. Moving on to the course. This is basically an eight week course intended for people who are in the third year BSc or BSMS uh, program. And the prerequisites here would just require basic chemistry knowledge. Okay, in this uh, course we have set certain learning objectives for the people who take this course. We want to accumulate or assemble here the theoretical and practical concepts which are across the field of analytical chemistry basically. And uh, but we would we would want to give a interesting uh, quantitative construct to this uh, course so that we can apply our understanding to uh, multiple real world applications and research problems as well. So towards that end, we will illustrate the utility of statistics uh, for hypothesis testing so that we can arrive at an unbiased in inference as a researcher is expected to be. Similarly, we will describe and explain the various methodologies, especially with regards to chromatographic techniques and how these are exploited in uh, research uh, applications as well as industrial arena. And uh, finally, uh, if and when the time permits, we will be demonstrating the application of the developed concepts uh, by employing uh, examples at appropriate moments. So Ashish and I would be alternating in the way we uh, render the lectures. The first week of lectures would cover the topics of chemical stoichiometry, parameters to define concentration. Uh, although some of you might be familiar with it, we'll uh, reset the stage so as to make sure everybody comes up to speed in terms of these topics. Uh, so concepts such as normality, molarity, molality, mole fractions, PPM, PPB, and other terms uh, in which concentration is established in terms of equilibrium concentrations, p-value will be introduced in this week. Followed by that in week two, we will take a little bit of a philosophical view on what is data, how do measurements come about, and what is a statistical way of analyzing data in terms of mean, median, mode, variance, and standard deviation, and also understanding how uncertainty propagates when you're having uh, multiple variables that are measured and the need for repeating experiments and also classification of how, how errors come about and how to report scientific data would be discussed in detail in this week. The second week of lecture is done. We will have a very nice basis or foundation laid for undertaking statistical analysis on the data that we have, especially with regards to hypothesis validation. So, in this uh, week, we will be introducing ourselves to null hypothesis, the concept of confidence level, confidence intervals, and the various types of uh, tests that are undertaken for testing the various hypotheses that we have at, at hand. So some of these uh, statistical tests or tables that we will use in this course are known as the Z-test or the Z-table, the T-test or the T-table, and the F-test. Uh, so we will get introduced also to a very interesting concept which is that of outliers and how do we determine uh, the outliers using uh, the Q-test. Now next uh, week uh, subsequently we will be discussing about uh, how do we collect the various samples, the fitting of the data to certain models will be discussed and uh, 
the topic related to the analysis of data which is uh, which introduces or which includes linear regression single factor analysis of variance as well as the least significant difference between the data set uh, following uh, the basis that has been set uh, with statistical analysis on how data comes up we'll be using some software uh, in order to analyze such data to start with we will use simple spreadsheets which help you collate all the data that you might have collected and how the analysis could be done for instance the mean and uh, standard deviation analysis are much far much more easier using software such as spreadsheets and after having set the stage on how computers could be helpful we'll be using some advanced software such as MATLAB which you have access for uh, if you're taking this course uh, through the SWIM portal we'll be using such software also to analyze similar data basically start with simple linear regressions that have been uh, set stage uh, in week three and four by uh, dr ashish and following that in week six we'll be taking a look at not just linear regressions but other equations and other numerical simulations so as to understand how they can first be simulated following if you have real-time data how they can be fit using this software and how to assess whether a fit is good in particular i'll be taking an example of chemical kinetics and enzyme kinetics in order to make you understand how the same data could be fitted in different ways and how the uncertainty in each of these fitting would result in different errors for whatever you want to measure okay so once we have gone through all this uh, training of handling the data analyzing the data we will start talking about the practical aspects uh, which uh, concern chemists uh, in general which is related related to the analytical separations so in this week that is week seven of the course we will be talking exclusively about uh, solvent extractions uh, chemical precipitation a wide variety of chromatographic techniques that are available to us as uh, chemists uh, that include whether size exclusion chromatography for uh, polymers ion exchange chromatography and uh, gas or uh, high pressure liquid chromatography which are uh, sort of state of the art uh, chromatographic techniques that are available to us so finally in the week 8 of the course we will put further emphasis on the theoretical basis of chromatography this is a very interesting topic where we will talk about the concept of uh, theoretical plates that uh, are considered when we are uh, talking about the column efficiency and all we will talk about the plate height the plate count then resolution and retention time are the two things which you can see here uh, on the top uh, where we have shown a chromatogram and these things will be discussed in detail in week 8 uh, and uh, finally we will end up the course by talking about the differences between the rate theory and the plate theory so overall in this eight weeks we hope you do get a flavor of the quantitative way of understanding chemistry by itself um, with more focus on the analytical techniques as you have seen uh, in the introduction that we have given here uh, you may feel free to email me or Ashish anytime if you have any further queries on what this course scatters towards and if you have any further clarifications that you seek. Hope to see you in the course. Thank you. Thank you.